Yo, my people, them. Hope you guys are having a good Friday. As you can see, I'm not in my current setting. I'm currently on holiday in Greece. It's been a couple good days so far. And just to let you guys know, there'll be no watch long tomorrow as I'll be traveling back. But there will be a match review as well as a player ratings video as I will watch the match back after I land tomorrow. So no watch along. There will be one for next week's game though in the midweek against Liverpool. So, but as you might know, it's the match preview for the Chelsea versus Aston Villa game at Stamford Bridge. Kickoff tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. Sky Sports. Make sure you tune in to that. And it's going to be an interesting game. As we already know, um, no, as you guys should already know, if you watch my videos, I'm going to go through what Graham Potter said in his press conference regarding team news, injuries, players coming back, as well as going to give you guys some stats and my preferred lineup as well as the score prediction for the match tomorrow, my score prediction for the match tomorrow based on the preferred lineup. But, so let's get to it. In the press conference today, Graham Potter stated that Asper Cueto, Thiago Silva, Wesley Fofana and Raheem Sterling will all miss the game. They are 100% missing tomorrow's match. Christian Pulisic is a doubt, but on the good side, Mason Mount, he who he withdrew from England duty, but he will be fit tomorrow, just like Kai Havertz, who came back early from Germany's international, and um, also Reese James. And the big, big news in Golo Kante is in tomorrow's squad. He is fit, and hopefully he can get some game time. He was on the bench in the previous match against Everton, but he did not come on. Hopefully tomorrow we can give him some we can give him some game time because we have two. Big games going to be coming up. We play Liverpool after after Aston Villa, and then we play Real Madrid. Wait, no, that's my fault. We play Liverpool, and then we have another Premier League match, and then we play Real Madrid in the Champions League. So we need Kante to be ready. So he needs some game time tomorrow. Whether that's 20 minutes, half an hour, that's good enough for me. I don't necessarily want to see him start unless he's fully back. And if he is, psh, then put him in there with Enzo because that too in that middle that's the partnership that I believe most Chelsea fans have been waiting to see so it's great news that Kante is going to be available and he hasn't had any setbacks during the international break on the, on the flip side Aston Villa they're going to be without Philip Coutinho and um, that's their biggest um, that's their biggest that's their biggest player that they're missing. They have a couple more injuries, but I'm not 100% certain of the other players' names. I just believe they are defenders. So, should be a should be a good game. In terms of like stats and whatnot, um, Chelsea and Aston Villa, we played them earlier in the season and we won 2-0. And to be honest, in that game, we got certain life because Aston Villa were on niche. They could have scored, they should have scored in that game. And they gave away two cheap goals. Mason Mount at the double, scoring two goals to secure a 2-0 win for us. And but psh, when it comes to Aston Villa, more time we do beat them. The only the previous time they have beaten us was on the last day in 20 in the 2020-21 season. And boy, that was a heated game. We needed to win that game to secure top four, but we didn't. And even though we lost. Leicester lost as well to Tottenham so that enabled us to get top four by the skin of our teeth tomorrow we need to make sure that we get a good start, part of the best team possible and also just come with that ruthlessness because it's the business end of the season every game from now until the end of the season is a big game, Premier League we need to move higher on the table potentially go ninth and then just build momentum going into the Champions League where everything is on the line for us. So from now up until the end of the season, there's no more breaks. It's full on, full on, full on. We have nine games in this month. So it's a big month for us, a huge test. Hopefully the team can come out and do the business and Graham Paul can show why he was appointed Chelsea manager and can hopefully show his tactics, his tactics ability to secure us certain wins. Make sure he does right substitution, puts out the best lineup possible. So it's gonna be an interesting match, gonna be an interesting match. But now gonna get on to um 
my preferred lineup for tomorrow's game based on the um based on the injuries and i'm gonna go with edward mendy and go i believe that i want mendy to start i know Kepo, he's had a great season but for me i believe we need edward mendy in order to win the champions league he's proven it before Kepo, I'm, I expect him to start. He probably will start, but my preferred keeper, I want Edouard Mendy. He's not injured anymore. Please bring him back because as good as Kepa is with his feet, he's not a better shot stopper than Edouard Mendy. It's proven many times because we don't see Mendy getting packed from 25, 30 yards out. Every season from when Kepa has been here, that happens every single season. And for me, it's just not good enough. You're good with your ball feet, but we don't need someone with the ball at their feet to win the Champions League. We've proven that. That's why Edouard Mendy was brought to Chelsea and in his first season helped us get the Champions League and we had the best defensive record in the Champions League ever, ever, by the way, ever. So, on that note, I want Edouard Mendy to start and go for me. That would be my preferred keeper. And then, in the centre-backs, we all know that Wesley Fofan is injured, so... Psh, he ain't gonna be playing tomorrow, so we have to go with we have to go with um we have to go with Trevor Chalabar, Kudabali in the middle, and on the left hand side, most likely play Kukarello because it hasn't mentioned if Thiago Silva's back. And boy, if he's not back, he's gonna be a couple more weeks. So yeah, I'd have to go with Trevor Chalabar, Kudabali, and um no wait, Trevor Chalabar, Kudabali and Badi Ashur Mafu, not Kukarello. And then on the left wing back has to be Ben Chilwell. Has to be. Reese James on the right hand side, no question. We have to. We need players to be match fit. We need them to be playing games to build momentum going into the busiest period in our season, the most important period in our season. We need both of them. And then in the middle of the park, the dream duo I've been waiting to see in Golo Kante and Enzo Fernandez. These two in the middle. Kante with his ability to lock up anyone, be two man, I want shot down two man. Like you already know Kante is the best player in the world on his day, in his position. And with him back and Enzo, who if we're gonna be honest, since he's come to Chelsea, he has been the best player since January for Chelsea consistently. His level is always high, it's never dropped to a significantly low level. So for me, these two in the middle will lock up the Aston Villa in the Maston Villa where they will have Jacob Ramsey most likely playing where down for me might be their best um might be their best centre midfielder or obviously they have other players like John McGinn but I'm not too sure on their on, on their setup at this point in time I don't really watch too many Aston Villa games. So mm. it's gonna be interesting but as I said, gonna go through what I just said, obviously in the back three, Trevor Chalobo, Kudabali Badi Ashur, right wing back, Rhys James, left wing back, Ben Shaw, middle of the park, Kante, and Kante and Enzo Fernandez. Then in the three attackers, for me, it's gonna definitely gonna have to be um Joao Felix, of course, Mikhailo Modric, and then also Kai Havertz up top. That's gonna be my preferred lineup, and with this lineup. We should definitely get the win as long as everyone finishes their chances and plays to the best of their ability. Graham Potter, it's down to you to put the certain team out. I'm going to be, I won't be surprised if you make a couple changes, but it shouldn't be a wholesale change. We should only see a difference in either the attacker or Kovacic starting instead of Kante or in goal, it's going to be probably Kepler. So, three changes at max compared to my preferred lineup. So let's just see what will go on for tomorrow because it's going to be a very, very interesting game. Everything starts from now. This is the build up to the end of the season. Every game is important and we have to win. You saw the Chelsea win. If you saw the Chelsea women did yesterday, they, they fight and clawed to get a penalty in the last minute of the game and put it to bed and then went on to win on penalty shots to advance the Champions League semi-finals. They are keeping the blue flag fine high as they have been doing this whole entire season. The men need to take example from the men, from the women. Do what we need to do. Win the games. We're at home. The atmosphere has to be loud. Stanford Bridge has to be rocking because 
the intensity, the environment will play a huge part in the, getting the team over the line and being able to play the best, the best of their abilities. So the fans, the players, Potter, we all need to stick together and be one. That's the only way we're really going to be able to achieve anything. Everyone has to believe and that is what the aim is. So that's going to be obviously it for me regarding this match preview for the Chelsea vs Aston Villa game. Remember, no watch long tomorrow. Then there'll be there will be a match review, but that'll be released on Sunday as well as the player in's video. I'll go live for that as well. So you guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Risk Blue and I'm out. Peace. Come on Chelsea, come on Chelsea.